Hello there, welcome. Today we'll be making simple mahamri from home and if you're stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing and let's get started. For this recipe, I'm using 4 cups of all-purpose flour, which is about 500 grams. I will be using 3 quarter cup of sugar, but if you want your mahamri slightly on the sweeter side, you can use 1 cup to 1 and a half cup. I will be using 2 cups of milk, you can also use coconut milk. Into your milk, add 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder, followed by 7 grams of yeast, that is about 1 tablespoon, and mix everything together. Go ahead to add about 2 tablespoons of oil, and allow this to rest for about 10 minutes. Once that is done, create a well at the center of your flour and add your mixture. For starters, I was kneading my flour with my wooden spoon, you can still use your hands. So add the milk slowly by slowly as you knead your dough. I then proceeded to knead the dough with my hands until it's not sticking in my hands. If your dough is sticky, you can add a little bit of flour or even some oil to knead. And this is what you're looking for, the dough is very very soft but not sticking in my hands. In a bowl, brush some oil so that when you put the dough, it doesn't stick to it. Place your dough into your bowl and let it rise for about 45 minutes to one hour. Go ahead to brush some oil onto your dough as well, just in case it rises too much and it sticks to your kitchen towel or foil. I like to cover my dough first with a cling film foil and then proceed to cover it with the kitchen towel. This prevents the dough from sticking in your kitchen towel just in case it rises too much. This is about 45 minutes later and my dough has risen. Go ahead to knead it for about 5-10 minutes. To make it easier for you to cut your dough into equal sizes, I prefer to roll my dough first of all into a cylindrical shape. Then proceed to cut your dough. I think I made about 6 pieces and then just roll it like this and set it aside. Once that is done, just cover it and this is the time that I like to heat my oil as well as line my bowl with kitchen paper towel. And as you can see, the dough has risen as well a little. So I'm going to roll these and cut them into four equal sizes. I am going for hollow mandazis and that's why my dough is slightly thinner and check your oil by using a wooden spoon once the bubbles come around then it means it's hot enough and we are going to fry this on medium high heat. The mahamri fries keep pouring oil and once it rises turn it and cook the other side you don't want it to rise too much otherwise your mahamris will break. Once they are beautifully done golden brown set them aside. If you want your mahamri to have that white distinguished line, put it in your oil. Once it rises, turn the other side, let it rise again and cook and take it out and you'll have that line in the middle. And there you have your mahamris. They came out absolutely perfect. They were so soft and so delicious and I can't wait for you guys to try it. If you like this recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't and I'll see you on my next recipe. Bye bye.